Hi everybody, it's Sandy and I'm coming to you with a little project today. Some of you may remember um, my haul from Michael's where I got these covers for the Happy Planner and I didn't realize they were the um, for the Big Happy Planner. So I was curious if I could cut them down. So here's what my original Happy Planner cover looked like. And I could have just, you know, reversed it, but I didn't. That's the inside cover. So here is how it turned out cut. So it just doesn't have, like, the clear at the edge, and I did have to hand trim that. Um, but I was happy that the um, little hole things fit right. So there you have it, and it turns really good. It is a little bit bigger than this one, than the original. Let's put the original way down at the bottom and up at the top there you can see it's a little bigger so I could have cut it down a little bit more and that probably would have alleviated, I don't know if you can see the little nubby right there, that's still there. So basically I cut out above one hole's worth. So what I thought I would do, and because I don't have the proper um, what do you call it? Tripod. I'm just going to take some pictures of my process and I have this one to do and this is my favorite one and I'm going to do that too. And I'm going to um, step by step you through the process of how I did it and you could probably figure it out on your own but I'm just going to show you how I did it and it was just uh, really quick and easy. These are a little bit thicker so I will say it took I have a rotary one, which I'm not a huge fan of the rotary one, but that's what was on sale and I needed one. Um, but it does have a very sharp blade and I think this one, it cuts through it really nice, but it does take me about four passes of pushing down pretty heavy to get it um, through these. And so the test will be to see if the edges fray on there, but they seem like they're laminated really good and sealed tight. So here we go. All right, so let's try voice over here. <clears throat> I put the original covers back on to keep my um, sizing true when I'm tracing it. Then I clipped the new cover back on to keep it all nice and lined up. And then next you're going to see that I open the cover up, line it, and then I use the Sharpie to put a line on the three sides and I'll be cutting inside the line so that the black mark won't show. And that's just a long clip of that. I like that saying inside there. Um, and then I repeated the process on the back side. Right there you'll see, I think you can see the lines in the black. And then I'm going to take the um, covers off, and you can see the lines on there. And I'm getting ready to, to cut it. And you're going to see a shot here now of um, how I put that line to the left of the, um, the cutter. You can see there's like that plastic guard there, and that's where I know where it cuts. So I will be cutting that line off as I go. Almost done here. Push down real hard. There's all the stuff left over. And I did do it with the third um, cover as well and rounded the corners. And there you are. It took a little extra elbow grease, but the end result was good. And I liked it. So thanks for watching.